हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल थैंक यू इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एग्जांपल 10.3 फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर 10 नोजल्स एंड जेट प्रोपर्शन फ्रॉम द बुक अप्लाइड थर्मोडायनेमिक्स बाय टीडी स्टॉप एंड मिकॉन्की द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द एग्जांपल 10.3 इज गैसेस एक्सपेंड इन अ प्रोपर्शन नोजल From 3.5 bar and 425 degrees centigrade down to a back pressure of 0.97 bar at the rate of 18 kg per second, taking a coefficient of discharge of 0.99 and a nozzle efficiency of 0.94, calculate the required throat. and exit areas of the nozzle for the gases take gamma is equal to 1.333 and cp is equal to 1.11 kJ per kg per kN assume that the inlet velocity is negligible so first of all we will write the given data first of all we have given that this is a propulsion nozzle and the pressure p1 is 3.5 bar temperature t1 is 425 degree centigrade it will be converted to kelvin so we will add 425 plus 273, so it becomes T1 is equal to 698 kilowatt. Also, pressure P2 is 0.97 bar. mass flow rate is 18 kg per second and this is the actual mass flow rate so it is 18 kg per second coefficient of discharge is 0.99 and the nozzle efficiency is 0.94 gamma value is 1.333 this is the adiabatic index for the gas which is expanding within this nozzle also the value of specific heat capacity at transfer pressure has the value 1.11 kJ per kg per kelvin so this is the required information which are mentioned in this statement also we are required to find two quantities in this example first area at throat or throat area we will represent throat area with capital a having subs subscript small t and second is the exit area of the nozzle so if we represent the exit with designation 2 so it will become a2 also coming to the solution of this problem is two quantities are required in this uh, problem to find uh, throat area and uh, area at the exit of the nozzle a2 so for throat area we will use this expression ac is equal to m dot c into vc divided by cc so we are interested to find these three parameters before to calculate the area at throat 
so for that we need some other formulas or expression first of all is the critical pressure ratio that is pc by p1 which is equal to 2 by gamma plus 1 power gamma over gamma minus 1 here for this case gamma is 1.33 when we uh, put values in this expression we get the value for critical pressure that is 1.89 bar so this is the required critical pressure ratio a uh, critical pressure and for the critical temperature ratio we have an expression tc by t1 is equal to 2 by gamma plus 1 so gamma is uh, 1.333 when we add this and divide it by 2 we get 1 over 1.665 also T1 is 425 degrees C so converting it to Kelvin it becomes 698 Kelvin so dividing it we get the value of critical temperature which is 598.4 Kelvin similarly to find the value of the critical velocity we have an expression under root 2 into H1 minus Hc Further specific enthalpy is expressed in terms of temperature and it will be written again like this Cp into T1 minus Tc. T1 is known and Tc is calculated above. So when we put the expression Cp value is also known. So 2 into 1.11 into 10 to the power 3 because kilo will be converted to uh, joule per kilogram per kilo. T1 is 698 and Tc is 598.4. So the value of Cc comes out 470.3 meter per second. Further, we have again another expression to find the value of Cc. This is another formula Cc is equal to under the root gamma R Tc, where gamma is the adiabatic index, R is the particular R specific gas constant, and Tc is the critical temperature. So, from this expression, we are interested to find the value of R for this specific case. So, Cp is equal to gamma R over gamma minus 1. In this expression, Cp is known, gamma is known, only R is unknown. So, rearranging it for R, R will be equal to Cp into gamma minus 1 over gamma. So it becomes 1.11 into 10 to the power 3 into 0.333 because it is gamma minus 1 divided by 1.333. So simplifying this, we get the value of R which is 277.3 Newton meter per kilogram per Kelvin. Now further to find the value of specific volume at critical position are the critical specific volume so small v in subscript small c is equal to r tc by tc r is 277.3 is calculated here in this expression and the value of tc is 598.4 and the value of PC critical pressure is 1.89 so we will multiply 10 to the power 5 factor with this because to convert it to Pascal so the value of VC comes out 0.878 cubic meter per kilogram now further to find the value of M dot S that is the isentropic mass flow rate for that we have an expression for coefficient of discharge which is equal to actual mass flow rate divided by the isentropic mass flow rate. So here we have given the actual mass flow rate which is 18 kilogram per second. So we are interested to find the isentropic mass flow rate so it will CD will be multiplied with actual mass flow rate. So rearranging it for the isentropic mass flow rate, it becomes 18 over 0 0.99 because the coefficient of discharge is given and it is has a value of 0 0.99. So the value of isentropic mass flow rate is 18.18 kilogram per second. 
Now using the continuity equation that is arranged for critical area AC is equal to M dot S into VC divided by CC. M dot S is 18.18 kilogram per second, VC is 0.878 is calculated from here and CC is 470.3 is calculated over here. So when we simplify this we get 0.0339 square meter. So this is the required throat area AT 0.0339 square meter. Similarly for to find the value of the exit area for that again we will repeat some steps as we have done it for the first section to find the value of AT. Now to find the value of A2 we will repeat those steps again. So T1 by T2 is equal to P1 by P2 power gamma minus 1 by gamma. In this case the value of this T2 is basically is the isentropic temperature. This is actually T2S. So in this case the value of T2 is, is calculated. This is arranged, rearranged for T2S. So the value of T2S is 506.6 Kelvin. Now using the expression of the nozzle efficiency, nozzle efficiency is actually equal to temperature, actual temperature drop that is T1 minus T2 to the isentropic temperature drop T1 minus T2S. So here nozzle efficiency is given 0.94 T1 is known and the value of T2S is calculated only T2 is missing this value. So putting the values T1 is 698 minus T2 was 698 minus 506.6. So rearranging it for T2, so the value of T2 is equal to 518.1 Kelvin. Now further to find the value of specific volume at the exit that is equal to RT2 by P2. This is the perfect case our ideal gas equation that is PV is equal to RT. Just like previous case it was rearranged. So for the exit it becomes P2 V2 is equal to RT2. Here V2 is unknown so V2 is calculated from this and it comes out 1.48 cubic meter per kilogram. To find the value of C2, it is equal to under the root 2 and 2 H, H1 minus H2, that is the actual enthalpy drop. So further in terms of temperature, it will be expressed like this, 2 into Cp into T1 minus T2, T1 and T2 are known, also Cp value is given. So 2 into 1.11 into 10 to the power 3 into T1 is 698 Kelvin minus T2 is 518.1. So simplifying this we get 632 meter per second. So this is the exit velocity. Now using again the continuity equation to find the exit area that is A2 is equal to M dot 2 into V2 divided by C2. This M dot 2 is basically the actual enthalpy drop and the actual mass flow rate and it is 18 kilogram per second. So this is 18 multiplied by 1.48 divided by 632. So when we simplify this we get 0 0.0422 square meter. So this was all about the discussion of example 10.3 if you like my videos please don't forget to subscribe my channel also to get new notification for the upcoming videos subscribe like and share my channel
थैंक यू थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग प्लीज लाइक एंड कमेंट ऑन माई वीडियोज ऑल्सो सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल टू गेट न्यू वीडियोज